We have new information in the Delphi double murder trial, the result of the hearing, a final jury, and more ahead. The sewage rates in New Palestine are set to increase triple digits in the next two years. We'll tell you what locals want from city officials amid that news. And it's looking like we have some really nice weather, tons of sunshine, perhaps perfect conditions with the rest of Taylor Swift up on the JW Marriott. We'll talk more coming up. A Mishawaka man ripped off in what he thought was a political donation. Coming up, how to avoid the same fate this election season. You're watching Wish TV, Indiana's only statewide TV news network. This is breaking news. And that breaking news right now at midday in the Delphi murders trial. The judge has a key decision to make in the hearing taking place this morning. Let's get right now to News 8's Kyla Russell, who is live outside the Allen County Courthouse. Kyla, good afternoon to you. Hey there, Dakari. So quite a bit of new information coming out of the courtroom this morning. About an hour ago, so around 10 a.m., the full jury was sworn in. We now have a better idea of the makeup of that jury. It's eight women and four men. And then those four alternates are made up by two men and two women. Now, Judge Gull also heard arguments from both sides of the prosecution's motion to keep those two sketches used in the investigation from being seen by the jury. They brought in a witness that said he had helped in a drawing of a composite sketch. We do not know yet if that was one of those two sketches that's been released in 2017 and 2019. Judge Gull heard those arguments. She said she would take those under advisement and would have a decision by tomorrow before the trial kicks off. Also, on the defense's request for the jury to visit the crime scene, they have decided to withdraw that, taking back that request. And then also, along with all of this news coming out of here, um, Judge Gull also ruled that witnesses who either side may bring in that have that witnessed Richard Allen's confessions, they can testify that they witnessed those confessions but cannot testify as to whether they think he is guilty or innocent. So now here's where we at. We are the jury is headed to Carroll County. We just saw their bus leave out of the Carroll County Courthouse here and uh, they'll be ready to check in at their hotel before the trial kicks off tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I will be there and of course we'll have full full team coverage here on Wish TV and bring you the latest at wishtv.com. Back to you Dakari. All right, Kyla, thank you so much. We will be bringing you more updates on the trial all week long here on air and on our news app as well.